If you normally repair your print files in Leechy before printing, you may be in for a bit of a shock, as the Netfab utility is no longer available. For the moment, Leechy has replaced this with Azure. But personally, I find this takes an absolute age, and it's even slower than Netfab was. However, Netfab is now incorporated into Fusion 360, and using it is a piece of cake. Fusion 360 is freely available, as long as you don't intend to use it commercially, and my regular viewers will know that I dabble with it frequently. So, with Fusion 360 open, all we need to do is open our print file. To do this, we head to the top menu bar and click Insert, and then choose Insert Mesh. Here's my file, and I'll just give it a click and wait a few seconds. This options box opens up, but don't click cancel. Instead, just click OK. Heading over to the left side here, if we click on the bodies tab, we can see our dwarf file is listed. And at the end of this is an exclamation mark. Fusion is warning us that there's a problem that needs fixing. If we hover over this, absolutely nothing happens. So just click the print once and select it like that. Now if we hover over it, it tells us mesh not closed, mesh not orientated, mesh not behaving, mesh is a bad bad mesh. <laughs> Thankfully, fixing this is a doddle. Just click the exclamation mark. This repair box opens up and you'll see our print is already selected. If we click the drop down field, we have a number of options available. Now I have played with all of these, and 99 times out of 100 for me, all I needed was the close holes option. So select that and click OK. Now I've genuinely found this faster than using Netfab through Leechy. It usually only takes a second or two. And there you go. If you notice, the exclamation mark has gone, so our file is repaired. All we need to do now is to save it. So personally, I right mouse click here, select Save as Mesh, and in this options box, you choose your file format. Personally, I'll go with STL binary, and my units are millimeters. I click OK, and then I choose where to place it and what to name it. So I'll just rename it for ease. And there you go, it's done. And to prove that it works, here's the newly fixed file in Leechy all repaired. Now just going back a couple of steps, I did say that I'd played with all these options, and I have. So if for some reason the close holes option doesn't work for you, try another option. The only one to be careful with is this bottom one, Rebuild. Now this does work, but it massively messed up the appearance of my print, so I wouldn't recommend trying it. So there you go, fixing print files outside of Leechy using Fusion 360. Quick, free and simple. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip guys. Take care and thanks for watching.